be able to bring under control again. Yet I ex agree that there is a certain area of religious education which should be introduced in the schools and colleges which could never lead to any hot controversies and that is the moral aspect of religious teachings. You ask Christians what is the idea of moral teachings and start introducing it in the schools. Ask the Muslims what is your ideal moral teaching and start introducing it in the schools. This moral teaching, whether it is of Hindus or the Muslims or the Sikhs, has a universality about it. When we say religions are split, they're always split in the areas of beliefs beyond the reach of humans. They fly high somewhere in the air and we can never fix them and determine whether this is right or that right. So why to enter a controversy which cannot, cannot be resolved anyway? Why not take the best of the religious teaching which relates to human relationship? There are two areas of religious teachings. One, man's relation with God. The disorders are created only in this area, area of doctrinization, area of, of, of beliefs and faith. Those British religious leaders who become custodians of people's faith, they don't like their following to be transferred to the following of others of the same type who become custodians of a different set of beliefs regarding God, angels, prophets, and uh, other such areas which relate to God. So you cannot determine the truth of this anyway. So let them for the, leave them for the religious leaders to settle between themselves as best as they can. You accept only the moral teachings. And that is what is most direly needed in the society today. Our children, because they have not been taught in the, in, uh, the mora in, in the subject of morality, because of this lack of morality, they, as they grow up, they grow up with a feeling that they have no responsibility to God they have no responsibility to the society. Only they have responsibility to themselves and their own personal egoistic players. When they grow up with this concept and no moral teaching has gone into their educational background, then it is bound to create an ideal atmosphere for crime to grow. So it is a necessity whether somebody believes in religion or not. Religious moral teachings are so essential that no, no country can peacefully survive without paying special attention to these things. Japan has already done it. Although their concept of religion is so different from the well-established religions elsewhere, yet they don't go, uh, they, 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 they don't teach morality in the name of religions anyway. They teach morality in the name of humanity. And they have a very highly developed system now, which is introduced at the lowest level of schools, and it continues to be uh, introduced, uh, continues to remain in the syllabus even for our students of higher education. And uh, yet, of course I know, they have not been able to resolve their moral problems as yet, but there are some decencies in their behavior, some, you know, discipline in their conduct, which you cannot find elsewhere in the world. It's largely because of this moral teaching introduced at the lowest level of education. So one should thrash the whole issue threadbare 
and uh, find out the real reasons behind all the dis distrust, distrust and unrest and uh, lack of peace, etc. And I'm sure if you do it the way I have suggested, you will agree with me that religion should not be touched with a ten foot fold as, as far as its those area of ideology is concerned. Leave it alone. But as far as the morality goes, you adhere to it strongly, positively. This is going to improve the quality of the society in general. Thank you. Right? Jazakallah. Thank you. Jazakallah. Some of our guests are a bit shy, so some questions have been given to me. So I will right, ask the questions on their behalf. Right. One of the questions is, in, in view of the fact that the Holy Shroud of Jesus is a medieval forgery, how can you prove that Jesus did not uh, die on the cross? All right. You see, this question presupposes that until the discovery of this so-called shroud, we had no evidence of Jesus' uh, deliverance from the cross. And Ahmadiyyat came to be born along with the sh discovery of Shroud. It's absolutely wrong. Shroud is, could only work as an additional evidence in favor of our view, not at all as the fundamental and central evidence. Number one and number two, this claim that the shroud has been already proved to be fake is wrong. Nothing has been proved. The religious uh, 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 scientists who have rejected such reports that the highest scientific authorities of NASA went into the investigation of the um, dating of the shroud and they discovered with the unanimity that this shroud, according to carbon dating, could not have been older than 1200 years backwards. More knowledgeable scientists have rejected this. One of the Russian scientists, for instance, who is expert on carbon dating, he says he's, he's surprised to find this, this claim because carbon dating is, cannot be fixed within a period of a few years only. It can swing to a thousand miles this way or a thousand miles that way. So if you add one thousand miles to twelve hundred, that would still be acceptable to scientists, should be acceptable to scientists. Moreover, that is not the only evidence in favor of the genuineness of shroud. The genuineness of Shroud has so many other evidence, or pieces of evidence, that put together they should be studied and as such they have never been rejected by scientists. Because some of the evidence is beyond their scope of determination. Scientifically they can only say that the blood marks on the Shroud are neither paint nor marks of the, created by the burning or scorching of the cloth. Sometimes red uh, patches appear as uh, the after, at, the after, at the aftermath of a fire. This cloth may not be burned but it is scorched and it changes color sometimes. Now the scientists who have examined those spots they have determined without disagreement that this was genuine blood. As far as the image on the, on the shroud is concerned, the scientists agree that this is a negative image. And no NASA inquiry has rejected this. They may not speak of this because it will go against their findings. But none has been able to reject this claim that the shroud, the image on the shroud was not a positive image but was a negative image. Now the questions are raised and are still being studied 
as to how this image could